The following slides are going to go through a demonstration of how we use kilovolt power and milliampere per second as a demonstration using Hot Wheels. Here are the supplies you guys would have had to build an x-ray machine, some Hot Wheels track and some Hot Wheels for 100 or 300 MA, a patient who would have been a small moose or a big moose, a film made out of those red Solo cups, and in the background you would not have had Glacia there with you, but she was not going to miss out on this activity. Here you see the different scenarios we're going to be running through. A small moose using 100 MA, a small moose using 300 MA, a large moose using 100 MA, and a large moose using 300 MA. So here I'm going to play through these four videos for you. They all are going to show you the throat four different scenarios for the small moose, 100 and 300 MAs at both low and high KVPs. Go. Note, some hit, a few pieces of the film fell through, but not all the film blew up. Record. Still low force, more x-rays, more x-rays hit it, more the film got hit, still kind of a low force. Like maximum. Yep. Let me know when you want me to go. Go. There we had a only 100 MA, but a higher force. So you can see the cups are scattered much more. We hit the film a lot harder. Ready, go. And there we had our maximum 300 MA and a high KVP. Cups are scattered quite well and all the cars broke through. And this time we're going to repeat those same four scenarios, but using a larger patient. That moose barely moved when he was hit with that one x-ray at low force. What happens if we shoot one x-ray at a higher force? Well, got through, but a lot of that film's still there. So what if we up it and we now shoot 300 x-rays at him, but with a low force? Mm -hmm. Notice I have that yellow color circled. Not all the x-rays got through this big patient. So what happens if we do a lot of x-rays, 300 MA at a high force? This time all the x-rays got through and they had a lot more force. Notice how far that that film has sort of scattered. And what about scatter radiation? Here's three examples of it. I'm ready. That's scatter radiation, non-image forming radiation that can hit everybody in the room. And then the bloopers. Glacia really, really likes the large moose. This was our images trying to create this slideshow for you guys before she eventually had to go outside.